Obviously, you're up at this hour if you're hearing us right now. So I'm going to assume that, like us, you haven't had like a sit down, like relaxing, relaxing like breakfast no. with around the table or friends and family on a weekday, probably ever, especially like, not this past year. Yeah, no. So this is going to be a, this is like a no. foreign thing to all of us because I, even on days like we have the show off, like I just sleep in until like lunch. So like, that's like the first meal I, that I try to do is lunch. You know what I mean? I don't do that, but my breakfasts are certainly not leisurely at all. Well, this is so there's a New York Times has a story, the new wellness trend is eating breakfast in total silence because <laughs> okay well I wish. it's i guess a lot of yoga retreats are often this right now like for if you go to the yoga retreat it's kind of like meditation so they say sitting in silence slows down your heart rate like meditation and your, your cortisol levels drop so that's the stress hormone that's really good and instead of clearing your head focus on your food and try to be present in the moment your mind might race at first but it's supposed to get easier and easier they say breakfast is the best time to do it because it sets you up for the rest of the day. I mean, probably in theory it makes sense. Like, you I know? think the one time I ever remember doing that was like four years ago. But even with the kid? The kid was born already? Yeah, he was at school uh, okay. and it was a day that we had had off from the show. Yeah. And I think it was like, I didn't like it. I didn't know what to do with myself because once you get used to that whole chaos situation, it's like, what's wrong? Oh, I love silence. Are there ghosts in my I'll just sometimes just sit in silence or I'll drive in silence. I think it's very much like Driving in silence, I get you. That's a sign of true maturity where you just don't want to hear any music, nothing, just just the sound of the car. It's just like, (sighs) ah. I also think this, in like 2020, to me, this is also just like eating while watching something aimlessly on Netflix that doesn't require brain power. Mm -hmm. Like for me, throwing on The Office, like I've seen every episode 10 times. I don't need to really pay attention. Yep. That's like the same thing of like clearing my brain and not doing anything. As opposed to like when you watch like a murder documentary or Honey by Manor, it's like, well, I need to actually pay attention. This isn't fun. Like, actually get off yeah. your phone and pay That's attention. That's what's funny is murder documentaries I fall asleep to. That's my nap time. Night really? Night by yep. Because their cadence is so like, oh, oh yeah. there was a murder on Fifth Street. So it puts me to she sleep. Died. Yeah, I get that. Mm-hmm. Ew. You got to watch the new, uh, Rose is talking about the new Unsolved Mysteries. There's one, uh, this seat, part two of this season, has one dude that was in Delaware, D.C., Maryland, like the whole area. Oh, the tsunami one made me sad. Yeah, that one's a little uh, extreme. Mm-hmm. We'll get the, um, the breakfast story for you, YMSRadio.com.